welcome everyone to get started with the s pen first of all let's click release where the s pen is located and this will uh, slightly open the pen and then with our fingernails we can open up and we're going to see this menu right here i'll go through what every single one of these uh, s pen features does if you do tap on the add you will also be able to see these extra ones here and I'll also be covering the air actions, um, you know, shortcuts, all that good stuff. So first of all, if you were to tap on the empty space, we're going to see this pen icon here. And any time, if you click the pen icon with the S Pen, uh, this menu will show up. So we have the Create Note here, and this just opens up the Notes app. Any app in this pop-out view. You can resize like this by just dragging and dropping on the corner so you can do a quick note and at the top there's a blue bar and when you tap on the blue bar you can see all these options here so if you ever forget the options you can uh, hover over the option and you can see in that case that is the close app so we have close app go into full screen minimize the window change the uh, opacity, uh, bring the app into split screen and replace the blue bar design with uh, physical buttons instead. But again guys, if you do forget which one is which, you can just highlight over and it will tell you exactly what each function does. So let's close out of this here and let's go to the next feature. So this is the view notes. This will just open up the notes app so you can see your sketches. I don't know why I find stuff like this amusing, but you know, my free time, that's what I've been doing. And then we have the Smart Select. So this is like taking a screenshot, but no, let's just tap it. And you just select a certain part where you want to screenshot, and then boom, it's going to capture it. Okay. So this is useful if you don't want to take a, a full screenshot, you just want partial, you can do that right there. And you have some editing tools and the save. We also have the screen right feature. So this will take a screenshot and then it will bring you straight to the pen. So you can uh, annotate a screenshot. So, you know, let's say arrow, this is a Google watch, stuff like that, you know, annotation. If you tap on the pen here, you can customize the settings. Same with the eraser. And so let's save that to the camera roll. We also have the live messages feature. So let's allow these permissions. And essentially, we can record a video. And while recording the video, we can annotate stuff. Okay. So let's start recording like this. And then you can just draw on the video. Okay, so let's play it. And you can see the drawing will show up when you do it. You just take a picture and you can annotate the picture like that. We then have the AR Doodle. So what this does, front or back camera. Let's use the front camera because it doesn't have that prop up. So you can draw stuff and you can see it has tracking it's like tracking my face only like 10 year old kids would do this but you know if you want to you can you can see it's going to track the face so you have this little doodle here imagine if you, if, so if you send this to someone you would uh, you would lose that friendship very quickly but we tap on the recording here you can then do this and it's going to do a video recording with this on. Yeah, I don't know if you would ever use this, but it is a feature. So I'm gonna I'm gonna discard the doodle and I'm gonna get out of there very quickly. So then we have the translate. So we need to tap on the S pen, that would help. So essentially how this works is you highlight text with your S pen and it's gonna translate that text Okay, so let's have a look at the Espanol. And you can see translate from Spanish to English. 
So you need to find Spanish text to hover over. And that seems a little bit harder than I thought. So let's just try and highlight over the Espanol. And you can see it will translate the text, right? So I'll flip the translation here. And if you tap on the text, so by default, it's only going to translate word by word. But if you tap on this and you have it in the paragraph, you can see you can translate the uh, full paragraph or full sentences like that. Okay, by just hovering over. We then have the pen up feature. So let's open up the pen up app and confirm the age here. So we'll just agree to all of this. This is essentially an application and it just allows you to doodle with your S Pen. So what it will do is it will have this outline of let's say this dragon. Is that, is that a dragon? Hopefully. And you will be able to like draw on top of the outline. So you can do a drawing like that. So let's just tap on the ads here and let's add the extra features. So we have the magnifier feature here. This is just you get your S Pen near an area you want to magnify and it will magnify it and you can change the zoom here if you want there we go if you tap on the uh, full screen it will do a full screen magnification we then have the coloring this should also bring you to the pen up uh, application okay you can see pen up but it will bring you directly to uh, some sketches you can uh, add color to we then have the write on calendar feature here so it quite literally allows you to annotate in the calendar app. I mean, not very special, but there you go. And then we have the Bixby vision. So we need to allow the camera permission first. Uh, camera permissions, photos and videos. And we're just going to allow this one here. So what this allows you to do is it's not the best to show it here. Let's just say I'm going to search up. There we go. Uh, image. What it will do is if we get the Bixby vision out and we just hover over the image. Okay, so let's hover over the image. And we'll just tap on the image button. It's going to scan the image and it's going to figure out, you know, what is the image. It did do a great job there. So I'm going to try that again. And you can see it figures out the location. This is the Espanola. Uh, in, uh, in Ontario and you can also highlight an area and then get the text out of that highlighted area as well. If we go into the S Pen menu we also have the settings then we have the air actions. Uh, let's tap into this menu here. So first thing press and hold the pen button. What does this do? We have the camera and then we have these uh, gestures here and then we have the air actions for individual apps and it's going to show all of these right here. So I will show an example because there's so many air actions. It's just not really worth it to just go through every single one. The video will be uh, too long, but you can see them in the settings. So if we want to go back, we need to do a less than sign, but in the air. So we're holding down the button here. Okay, so we're holding down this button. We're going to do that less than sign. So we do the less than sign and you can see we go back like this. And another error action is if we do the upwards arrow in the air, it's going to go home. So we'll do the upwards arrow. And you can see it goes home. Now, I'll be honest with you guys, uh, this error actions is not the best. So me personally, I use the error actions to press and hold the button to open the camera. Okay, I like that a lot. And if you just click the button, it's going to start a video or you know, start recording, take the photo, and that's useful, okay, because let's say I'm taking a selfie, taking it far away, you know, I can have the pen just in the background here, I can click it, and you can see it's going to take the picture, I really like that feature, but uh, you are able to, you know, swipe between the menus, switch the camera, by like swiping up, down, you know, left, right, and that in that demonstration, everything worked, but 99% uh, of the time I swipe to the left and it swipes up. It's not worth it, okay? Like there, I swipe to the right, you saw in the video, and it didn't recognize that one at all. So again, Air Actions, I only recommend for opening up an app 
which you can customize in the settings and for a single click to you know, take a video or uh, take a photo. But if we scroll down here, we have the screen off memos and the quick notes. So the screen off memos we'll discuss in a second, but the quick notes covered this earlier where you hold the S Pen button and then tap the screen twice to create a new note. If you don't like that feature for whatever reason, you can go here, turn the sky off, and then the screen off memos. So you can see right notes when the screen is off. So this is a little bit buggy, but just double tap on this. Okay, not working. I was gonna hold the S Pen button, and there we go. So after holding the button, we can now annotate. You're typically just meant to be able to remove the S Pen uh, from the shell and then it'll just work right away, but in that case, we needed to hold down the button and we saw that little animation. Now we can annotate on the lock screen here and then save that. And that will be saved as a Samsung note. If we go to the more S Pen settings, you can see we have these extra features here. So what if S Pen is left behind? This is very useful because if you lose the S Pen, you have to buy a new one, that's expensive. And you can see, keep your S Pen connected. Uh, this uses more battery, so it'll constantly leave the S Pen connected, even if it's in its shell. Uh, I don't recommend you turn that on. Allow multiple S Pens. I mean, I don't think anyone has multiple, but if you do, you can turn that guy on. And then S Pen unlock, okay? So if your S Pen is out of the phone, then it will just automatically unlock the device, okay? So this is useful if you're like taking notes, the phone locks, and then it's gonna be able to unlock right away without using the fingerprint. And then you have the sounds and vibrations with the S Pen. Uh, when you take it out, you can have that on or off. We then also have the air commands here. So we can customize this menu if you would like to do that. And you can see the shortcuts. Uh, these are the ones that show up on the side here. So these are the shortcuts, okay. And you can customize these shortcuts here. Although you can also do that with the add button as well. If you want the air command icon to show up when you have the S Pen removed, you can leave this on. But at the same time, if you turn this guy off, what you can do to access the same menu is if you hover the pen over the screen, so you see this uh, dot, and you just press the pen button, you can see that will also open up the menu. So it really depends if you want that air command button. You can't tap it with a finger, so it's not like it gets in the way that much. That's up to you. So that's the full guide of using the S Pen. If you would like to help support the channel, please do check the description. This was a longer video to make, so likes, shares, greatly appreciated. Uh, I compete with people with like a million subscribers, so if you want to help, make this video have as much reach as possible, like and share. Bye-bye.